Hey everyone, this is Gokul Karta here and today we are going to talk about MQTT protocol. As mentioned, this tutorial is a short introduction to MQTT, so I'll not be uh, going further in the details, but end of the tutorial, you'll be able to understand what's MQTT protocol, what are the basic entities in, involved here. MQTT stands for message queuing and telemetry transport. This protocol, it's very lightweight. It follows a publish and subscribe mechanism to share the information. As it's uh, very lightweight and it uses very less network bandwidth compared to other protocol, it is an ideal protocol for IoT devices to share the information each other. In this protocol, uh, the key entities or the main entities are a publisher or a subscriber. Both publisher and subscriber, we can consider it as a client and a broker. Broker is a server. And the protocol is based on topics and messages. Of course, it supports secure communication. You can add SSL transport mechanism on top of these messages to make it more secure. But let's go to each and every topic mentioned here. How does it work? So uh, as I mentioned, MQTT involves few entities like a client and a server or a publisher, a subscriber and a broker. So broker is the server or the main uh, component which controls the connection. So you can see here a client which acts as a publisher on a topic can register and share some information. And another client or clients whoever is interested in this particular topic will get notified by the broker. That's why we are calling it as a publish and subscribe model. I will show you some uh, real case scenario after this short presentation. We'll come back to this topic very soon. So uh, MQTT messages, as I said, MQTT messages are based on topics. Let's take an example. Uh, say uh, you have a temperature sensor in your home. In each room, you have a temperature sensor. and you have a mobile phone application which will you know inform you the latest temperature in in the house in the sense uh, where you have a kitchen you have a say bedroom you have a washroom and so on so each room the assumption is that each room will have a sensor I already mentioned that this protocol is very lightweight so you know the sensor will have a small built-in real-time OS or a small embedded OS maybe you can think about as a Raspberry Pi device and there will be client inside this you know uh, publisher so here the sensor in the room the temperature sensor will act as a publisher and you will have a uh, broker which collects all the temperature from the room you can see here home kitchen temp that means this topic represents the temperature in the kitchen home bedroom temperature represents the temperature in the bedroom so those are various topics say in your mob in your mobile application your mobile application can work as a subscriber so if you are interested in the bedroom temperature you can select this topic as home bedroom temperature then the broker will be informing you when there is a temperature change which will be shared by the uh, bedroom temperature sensor to the broker this is all about topics I will explain you some more about the wild characters in the topics with a real-time example as I said so now you need to understand that all the messages are based on topics and one of the advanced use case can be you can 
connect all the MQTT broker clouds into a single cloud, a cloud of cloud or something like that. See, uh, you have a MQTT cloud in the home too. Uh, which deals with the temperature in the home for example similarly you have a cloud in the office which handles all the temperature from various places in the office and a car inside the car you know uh, temperature and more information about the uh, car yeah and end of the day you have a mobile phone which acts as a subscriber so you can bridge these brokers together so that a say cars log status can be available in the office broker so that when you connect to the office broker when you are in office your mobile phone can get the door lock car door lock status from the office broker that's a maybe a advanced use case of bridging mqtt brokers that's also very useful for a real case scenario the bridging works as like a normal normal blocker uh, i'm sorry normal client which subscribe and publish all the topics that's how the messaging uh, the, the syncing works let's go to uh, some um, real case scenario so i'm just opening my um, i'm using a linux uh, box uh, Nowadays, most of the language has MQTT support, C++, you can find plenty of C++ libraries, Java, they have a Java Paho library, uh, C++ Mosquito is one of the popular C++ implementation, and of course, in uh, it's my Ubuntu box, so I'm using a Mosquito based MQTT broker here. Uh, of course, you can write your, your own client and broker, which may take some time. So let's jump into a real case scenario. I'm running my broker. You can see I have started my broker on the port number 1883. Inform you that most uh, the, the MQTT has two entities. One is a subscriber and one is a publisher. Let's, uh, let's take an example. So I have prepared some ready to use uh, commands here. Uh, so if you're developing a uh, application which uh, through which you can get the real-time updates or real-time news from various places an example uh, say you have a mobile application which subscribes so let's let's write this way so if you are interested in politics uh, from Germany you can type like this and of course uh, here it's a mosquito I'm using mosquito front end so mosquito I'm saying mosquito I'm interested in politics Europe and Germany topic so I have registered my subscriber with the broker now I'm going to publish some message here say I got an update recently from Germany on a political category that's a news so I'm just publishing it immediately that will get connected to the broker so in my system the broker and the clients are running on the same machine but in case if your uh, if the broker is in a different machine you can specify your uh, you know remote broker IP address and port number and so on but end of the day uh, the goal is to show you how it works so you can say so I have published a topic on this to uh, published a news on this topic politics Europe and Germany so you can see here I, ha I was I was interested in politics Europe and Germany and whenever there was an update I got this message I'm just changing it to say um, Finland and the pub publisher got a message from Germany when I publish the subscriber won't get it because he was interested in the update political update from Finland there can be some what scenarios that you are interested in all the political news across the countries I mean in all the countries in Europe you can use a white character or a regular expression kind of thing you can uh, type like this politics Europe hash hash means whatever topics come under Europe politics I'm interested so if when I 
run my publisher command with the politics Germany, he will get it. When I change it to say, I'm changing the message that Netherlands, here I'm uh, changing the country as well to Netherlands, still he get it because he was interested in all the political news and with a wild character hash. Uh, similarly, uh, suppose if you are interested in a particular country's all topics, say politics, films, cultural and so on, you can use a plus sign here, something like this. Of course, MQTT supports much more wild characters. So here it means I'm interested in all the news categories from Germany. And I type, say, Netherlands, I won't get it. But when I, I'm just copy and pasting it again, so when I use the previous news, yes, I got a political update. Then I'm giving an update on the films here. You can see here, uh, this time I'm using a uh, topic, films Europe, Germany. Still I get it because of this plus character. This was all about MQTT. Thank you very much.